What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. And our 2019 college football schedule previews continue with the Alabama Crimson Tide. You can see the schedule there on your screen. Look at that brutal non-conference schedule. They play Duke, New Mexico State, Southern Miss, and Western Carolina. Just a really brutal non-conference schedule there. And obviously I am joking because it is pretty weak. Uh, I mean, you go out and schedule a Power 5 team, and who do you schedule? You schedule Duke. Yes, they play Duke. Uh, Duke, though, has been a little better as of late. I mean, Duke is not a bad program, but again, uh, why not schedule a powerhouse team when you're Alabama? And to, their, and to be fair, they do have some, some pretty big-name teams coming up on the schedule in the future. Um, and I'm not trying to hate on Alabama. I was just joking there. Uh, but you can, again, see that schedule on your screen and we gave our early thoughts on Alabama when we did our SEC West video. Early thoughts on the SEC West. This team offensively, I think, is going to be really good. Uh, questions on the offensive line. Running back, potentially, outside of Najee Harris. Don't have a lot of experience. But with Tua back and with all the receivers they have back, uh, this offense, I think, is going to be elite once again. A lot of question marks, though, on defense. Uh, they lose key players from every level of their defense and some really, really good players They've recruited well. Nick Saban usually is able to reload that defense. And without really, honestly, that tough of a schedule, it's hard to imagine Alabama uh, not finishing the season. Yeah, worst case scenario with one loss. And I'll give you a best and worst case scenario as we go through this video. But just to run down the schedule, they open up with Duke in Atlanta, New Mexico State at South Carolina. They do play one of the better teams in the East, and they play them on the road. Uh, in the Gamecocks. But once again, they avoid Florida and Georgia. I don't remember the last time Alabama played Florida or Georgia in the regular season. Seems like it's been a while. Uh, Southern Miss, Ole Miss at Texas A&M. That could be a tricky game. Uh, a lot of people expect Texas A&M to be very good this year. I'm, I'm not quite sold on them with all that they lost, but I think they'll be a solid team, and that's a tough place to play. Tennessee, Arkansas, LSU, Three games there in a row. They actually have a bye week between Arkansas and LSU, but three games in a row that are all at home. Mississippi State on the road, Western Carolina, and then Auburn on the road to finish things out. And I believe uh, two out of the last three trips to Jordan-Hare have resulted in a loss for Alabama. Uh, in 2017, they lost. They won in 2015, and then they lost in 2013. Uh, so that could be an interesting game. But overall, it's tough to see Alabama losing a game. Maybe they lose one game. Um, again, schedule really not that bad. Uh, but there are there are some teams coming up in the SEC. You know, South Carolina, I expect them to be pretty good. Tennessee is going to be a lot better. Arkansas is going to be a lot better. So I don't think the SEC is going to be as easy for Alabama. I think there will be some games on this schedule that are a little closer. Remember last year, they just blew everyone out. Um, and part of that was because they were that good. But part of it was because... Some of those teams were just down. Tennessee was just down. Arkansas was just down. Um, and I, I think that was part of the reason why they blew everyone out by such a wide margin. Now, I still think they're clearly the best team in the SEC this year, uh, at least out of all the teams that they play on the schedule. Uh, might be a little bit of a different discussion when you talk about Georgia. But uh, that's the schedule for Alabama. We look at it. We look for some easy wins, the games that we can pretty much call automatic wins there are no automatic wins in college football uh, but these games are pretty much guarantee wins for the crimson tide and when you start looking for those games there's actually a lot on the alabama schedule there are a lot of games that i think are pretty much guaranteed wins duke i think they're going to be down a little bit without daniel jones new mexico state southern miss Ole miss no jordan tamu they lost their top two receivers that should be a win for alabama uh, then you look at Arkansas. That game should be a win. I know they're going to be maybe better this year, but I don't know if they're going to be good enough to go into Tuscaloosa and beat Alabama. And then Western Carolina. So one, two, three, four, five, six games that are pretty much guarantee wins for Alabama. I know upsets happen, but Alabama does not get upset by bad teams. I mean, that just does not happen uh, with Nick Saban. The first year he was there, maybe. But after that, I don't think they've lost to a team outside the top 25. So then you look for the games that are probably going to be wins. I mean, you're at 75 
That's Tennessee. That's Mississippi State. Tennessee's at home. I do expect them to be a lot better this year. I think that'll be a competitive game, but it's in Tuscaloosa. Because of that, I think Alabama uh, is pretty much a guarantee to win that game as well. And then Mississippi State, tough place to play there with the Cowbells, but I think they're going to be down a little bit this year. Lost some really key players on defense. So I think Alabama wins that one. So that leaves South Carolina, which is kind of a tricky game on the road. Texas A&M on the road right before playing Tennessee. LSU and on the road at Auburn. Could you potentially see Alabama losing two of these games? Uh, I mean, is that possible? Is there any way they could lose two games? I'm going to say that would be worst case scenario for them to lose two of these games. But with Auburn on the road, that's always a challenge. And then they could slip up in one of these other games. I think it is possible. It's possible that Alabama loses two games. I'm going to say their projected win total will be between 10 and 12, definitely not below 10, probably 11 or 12. Um, you know, I, I was really leaning towards 11 to 12 here, but because of, of some of those key players that they lost and because of just some games on the schedule that seem like they could be a little tricky, uh, because of that, I'm going to say their projected win total is 10 to 12. I would be very surprised, very surprised if they went 10 and 2, uh, but I wouldn't be shocked. If they went 9-3, and three, that would totally shock me because there's just no way that's happening. Um, and more than likely, they're going to go 12-0. and 0. I mean, if I had to pick right now, I'd probably say they're going to go 12-0. and 0. Maybe they don't. Maybe they, they slip up. Maybe they lose to Auburn on the road at the end of the season. But more than likely, they win 11 or 12 games. And really, that that that's really a projected record here. But again, just because of, of some of these games... And where they fall on the schedule, like Texas A&M right before Tennessee, South Carolina on the road early in the year uh, with Jake Bentley back at quarterback. Again, there are some games that raise, raise some eyebrows a little bit, but with this schedule, I think it'll be 11 or 12. 10 is the absolute worst case scenario. Best case scenario, obviously, is 12 and 0. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.